Hello guys and uh, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness, the Portugal campaign. So, um, in the last episode we started, or we, I don't, to be honest I don't really remember how this war started, but uh, the main point is that it is, uh, it is something, it is something that we have to take into consideration. Um, and what I think I'm going to do about this war is that I'm going to start adding war goals. Um, the reason for this is that uh, adding war goals in peace, or I mean, what am I saying, not in peace, uh, in, in great wars are a lot more cheap than adding them in, uh, you know, a regular war goal. Uh, you can see uh, acquiring a state only costs us um, 3.6 infamy, which is nothing. Uh, so I think it uh, would be kind of interesting to uh, go ahead and see if we can grab some territory. So I've been doing some, you know, um, testing, I've been, or I've been, you know, considering what to take. And I think um, what I want to take, uh, I want to sort of take something that would be kind of funny and interesting. At some point I was thinking maybe, you know, taking some of Russia, taking um, Crimea here. Although there, there's only three regions and they're not really that valuable, but I think it would just kind of look cool on the map. Because I kind of, uh, originally, in the last episode, I believe I was talking about taking Sicily. Um, but I think that I, I'm, I'm going to sort of not do that, I think, simply because it's, um, uh, it's, uh, I, I think it would be a little bit cooler to take sort of a colonial, um, I'd take a colonial possession that I normally would not have as Portugal. I was considering also taking something in India, but the thing is that, um, I mean, if I still had Goa, then I think I would go ahead and take Bombay, because that would be kind of cool, but I don't think I'm going to bother about doing that now. Instead, what I thought might be cool was to conquer parts of, uh, of Canada. I was thinking about taking uh, Quebec, because it's uh, quite a big province, and I think it's going to be, I think it's going to look quite cool to own Quebec. Um, I think it is anyways, and I think it's just gonna be kind of cool. A bit of alternative history, we're gonna grab grab more colonies in North America, and I think that's kind of an interesting concept. Uh, so we have to go and click Great Britain in order to activate, or, or uh, to get the, so we, uh, I think that's a state, yeah, Quebec. So yeah, that's big province, uh, sounds like fun, let's go. So we actually do have the appropriate amount of, um, of um, of war score that we need, but uh, it's still not enough, though. Ooh, that's n uh, yeah, because I think that um, I've been thinking, and I think that I'm actually going to prioritize taking territories such as this uh, rather than trying to get Extremadura from the Spanish, uh, simply because it's uh, I think it's going to be a, a little bit cooler in the long run. So not that there's too much left of this game, anyways, but eh, you know. Now where's my navy? Here's my navy. We need to grab our navy and bring it back to um, to Portugal, so we can start can, so we can continue transporting troops over to um, over to the front over here. Germany is doing good. They are handling the Russians pretty well. The Austrians, on the other hand, or Austro-Hungarians would be more appropriate to say right now, they're not having a too much of a good time over here. Yeah, they're getting destroyed by the British by a combined force of British and uh, Russian troops. But, uh, I don't know, France and me, we should be able to push them back at some point, I think. Let's make sure that the game is not passing too quickly. Let's keep going. The thing is, though, if, can I just propose peace straight away? Or are they still convinced that they can win this war? I'm talking about, you know, my enemies right now. My enemies, how are we doing on funding? Are we fun yeah, we're funding our military pretty nicely, so I don't see the problem about that. We also need to raise war tariffs, I think. War taxes. No education, no administration, no social spending at all. Uh, and that should help our budget a tiny bit, which is nice. Helping stuff out is always good. Because we seem to be... Uh, what's the situation over here? Yeah, we, we have won this one. Yeah, we have been able to send quite a decent chunk of troops. I'm going to kill off these... Um, some of these border troops, or these troops that are hanging out near the border, just so that we can um, make a clean front against the Russians, I think. It's, no, I don't think that's... that's not going to be a good idea. I guess I'm going to join in and continue occupying Italy, so that we can just finish that occupation. 
Uh, ooh, I can add another war goal. Isn't, it, isn't that just fancy? Cannot add one more against these people then. Oh, it's because of a diplomat. Okay, never mind. Or I don't, I don't know why I said never mind there, but eh. Anyways, let's keep going here because we won that. Yep. Uh, ooh. Sorry, if, sorry if I'm talking a little bit bullshit right now. I'm kind of um, I'm feeling derp today. Summer just started, so vacation for the win, eh? Oh, where did my oh, there they are? So that's nice. I do I do like myself vacations. Oh come on, stupid piece of shit fleet! You better win this, yeah you. You better do, piece of shit fleet. Hey, hey, hey. So, like, get back to Europe and pick up some more dudes right now. Yeah, so summer just started, which means I have mm, loads of time to making YouTube videos, which is nice. I'm also far too lazy to do, do you know, work and shit in the summer to earn money, uh, because because I'm lazy. I, there's no real other fancy explanation for that. Uh, so, but that's good though. I like it. I like not having to wor not having to work. I would, I would much rather just um, make YouTube videos instead, you know. Because I do love to make YouTube videos, at least when you compare it to working. <laughs> of course, you do earn money and stuff, which is, of course, positive. But it's like, I don't know. Um, I've always said to myself, that, and to others, I guess, that I value freedom over money. And freedom for me is not having any responsibilities and nothing, nothing I have to do. And work does count as stuff you have to do, so... Ooh, we can add another war goal. I think we actually should do that. I think we should... Cl I think it would be cool if we could claim a little bit more of Canada. Let's take Ontario while we're at it. Because why not? It's very cheap. Um, and we, we need to fight this war for a reason, right? Let's do it. British Sicily. No. Okay, you come back. So many territories you got here, Britain. Crazy. Uh... It's called on yeah, it's on Ontario. I know what it's called, but I couldn't find it, so I was kinda of, oh here it is. Ah oh, derp Like that was Another Derp moment presented to you by your host, Greenforce. Okay, so let's add that. That's gonna give us quite the um sizable chunk of the territory once we win the war. Hey Americans, are you willing to join our war? You are not. Negative relations, what have I ever done to you? That's not good. Call ally. Oh, oh, okay. I'm all, all of a sudden I have selected Venezuela. But sure, yeah, we'll call Venezuela. Why not? Yeah, let's call all our allies. Who are we allied to? Uh, great powers. Okay, that's a bunch of allies. Holy shit. Or not necessarily... Okay, I guess it's our sphere links, not necessarily our... I guess these people seem like they would love to join the war. Truce. That's not good. Livia. How about... Truce? What's up with the truces? I don't, I don't get it. Truce, what the hell? The British must have done some serious shit. Oh well. Never mind. Never mind that. Okay, now let's keep the war going. Gotta make sure to click my timer here, which I kind of forgot, but eh. You know, better late, better late than never. Oh, wow, we got a bunch of troops in um in the Caribbean. Do we have any? Yeah, we have some transport ships here. Okay, I like it. Let's... how many... like what kind of troops? Okay, so only tanks and planes. Yes, hyper-modern army traveling to uh, Canada right now. Question is though, how how full of troops are the British in Canada? How's the situation in Italy, by the way? That's the annoying thing about fighting on several fronts. You never really... it's hard to keep control of what's going on where. Because it seems like we have we have gained control over Italy at this point. Uh, at least we're working on it. The front is secured anyways. This this is not... Okay, so we're gonna move this guy up here to kill off those British people. This army is going to kill those Italians. How's the situation in China? Yeah, we're getting beat back by the Russians, but our army is very, you know, uh, combined. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can pick off as many of these Russians' armies separately as we possibly can. Okay, so we've got a bunch of transport ships over here. Yeah, okay, I guess they were I guess they were forced out of their out of their ports. Let's bring them to Europe where they are needed. I guess no 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 let's send them to the Caribbean. Yeah, we can go through we can go in the Pacific now and through the um Panama Canal, so that sounds like a plan. I don't think the British have any any 
any real uh, navies patrolling those particular areas. Because our navy is returned to port. Most delightful. Um, yeah, we can still hold a bunch of troops. Let's so let's hold a bunch of troops, eh? Okay, come on. Select you. Select you and put them on the boat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, fuck it. Let's just bring the last guy as well. It doesn't take too much time. Okay, now, this should work out. Bunch of troops. Fresh. Fresh to. Fresh troops to do combat in Italy. Let's actually land them in Italy while we're at it. Sounds like a plan. Uh, yep. Can okay. So this fleet hasn't arrived yet. It's getting there though. Uh, let's sail. Okay, so we want that. That's nice. Uh, can you like? Yeah, both of these. Ooh, that. Oh wow. We actually have to um, occupy them in order for them to. Because if not, we'll start taking a penalty for not having acquired the thing. I guess we need to start focusing on bringing in troops over to Canada then. Wow, should we? Should we can actually add, add another war goal as well. I'm thinking maybe that would mi that might be a little overkill, but I would love to um, take Newfoundland as well, just to create a clean border, clean Portuguese Canada. I like that idea. I actually like that idea a lot more than the idea of taking Extremadura from the Spanish. So why not? Why the fuck not? We have we have infamy to spare. Yeah, let's, um, of course, it's sort of making, putting us in a position where we really have to make sure to occupy these territories. I don't know how many troops, though, the British do have over in Canada, how the current situation in Canada is. Gain militancy? Sure, gain militancy, I don't mind. Uh, I guess that's that's what I said last time as well. Or That's what I've been keeping saying. Okay, so they have, a, they're, the French are having some problems over here, so we might as well help them out. We do have the manpower to support that decision. Let's go into the Gulf of Saint Lor Lawrence. Gain life rating. Of course, we'll have them some. Give them some life rating. That sounds so nice. Now let's land. Land the troops. So they're going to take forever to do that. Oh well, I can respect. I can respect that. No, never mind. You know, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. And I know some of you guys might be kind of frustrated right now that I'm, I'm not going to take any more of Spain, but I don't know. I think the the concept of conquering Canada is far too funny um, to not, you know, take advantage of, I guess. 50% war score. This is going well. Well, indeed. Okay, now we must help our our Austro-Hungarian brothers. Brothers in our brother in arms. Yes. Wow. Ooh! Look at those losses. Fuck you, Britain. You're going down. Going down. Russians as well. Die. Mm, look at those numbers. Look at those numbers. What are you going to do about it? Huh? You're just, you're just going to die? Of course you're going to die. What else do you think you're going to do? Live? Ha! <laughs> uh, oh, what? We lost war score. Defender occupation. Who's the attacker in this? I think... No, they are the attacker. Oh, well, that's a lot of... Um, who is trying to acquire something? France acquire Compania. I'm guessing Ooh, that's got to be Italian. Piemonte, Provence, Savoy. No, maybe it's not. If it's not, then what is it? Compania. Com. No. No, this that doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, Compania. Where's that? Doesn't. Okay, it's it's Italy. It kind of makes sense, but I could I couldn't see it. Oh, it's this one. Okay, that's pretty cool. They're they're trying to finish their conquest of southern Italy. That's pretty cute. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's continue fighting over here. Okay, so we did win that one. It's nice. Uh, let's keep going. Hunt them down. Okay, so they went to that province rather than the one I expected them to, but cannot predict everything. Now, how are we doing with? Where did my... Okay, here it is. My name... No, where's my navy? Here it is. Okay, it hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, that's right. I wanted to land troops in southern Italy. Duh. Derp -derp -derp. Let's bring you there, I guess. And you can go there. Yeah, I don't know. That should work out. Something like that, at least. How are we doing in Canada? Canada seems to be working out. They haven't sent any troops to counter my little in invasion, so... No, it seems to be going well. 
I think though that we're going to have to see we have to sue peace with um acquire that no aren't you the war leader uh, great war capital no I'm confused peace with Britain they will not accept of course you don't want to accept I haven't occupied your stuff yet but don't you worry don't you worry about a thing uh, I will occupy it. I, sh I'm, see, I should do that straight away though. Um, this um, little fleet right here. I should go ahead and once these troops have landed, I should send them. I should send some troops from Europe to Canada instead. I think they're more needed over there. Oh, where's my Portuguese army? Here it is. That was Kantan. Yeah, the Russians are all of a sudden pretty much dead. Let's just go all the way through and just clean up the Russians. Make them disappear. We got some troops down here. I guess we need to put them to use. But I think I'm going to put them over here to stop this little invasion they got going here. Do we have any other troops? Yeah, we have a bunch of troops. Aye, aye, aye. Send, send all the troops to this particular area. The British seems to be pretty much defeated in this area. So now we're going to send them... I'm going to send both of these over here. Now I'm actually going to keep this one here. And I'm going to send it um, south. To start occupying the uh, Cape Colony. Or South Africa. As it is known as today. Okay, now... So, it seems like we have been able to push any enemies out from, the, you know, the Venice region. Uh, let's bring them south. Or no, let's bring them east, I think. To see if we can fend off... Um, try to reoccupy this. I think that would really help our war score. Okay, Britain. No, you're not willing. Okay, fuck you. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's an army. That's an army. Fucking hell. Oh, well. I guess this landing of ours wasn't exactly the biggest. So I don't... Oh shit, I should just occupy these islands instead, but I have to occupy Canada, though, in, in order for my... Um, in order for my... Um, my plan? No. Yeah, I guess my plan would, is an appropriate word to use. Okay, let's rush these guys over here. Oh, why you no rush? Select the boats, goddammit. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, okay, they have a decent chunk of troops here in Canada, that's for sure. Fucking hell, it would be so nice to get the, um... They will not accept. Well, oh, okay then. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, yeah. I think we still have some time, though, in to um, finish our occupation of... Or to go ahead and occupy. We still have a bunch of troops here, though, but I think they can actually just stay on the boat. And then we'll bring these guy, the boats, back to Europe. And then we'll send, um... We'll send these guys to Canada. Sounds like a plan. We are rebels, risen, okay. Should I care? I have more important things to tend to. Uh, it's kind of defender occupation. So they keep occupying more and more of our territory, it seems. Or no, it's the other way around? Attacker occupation. I think the red ones are the, the, the red score is the one that favors us. So that's, so the, the yeah, oh, that, yeah, that makes sense. So it's the attacker occupation that's going up, so we need to remove that uh, from them. Which I think we're going we're gonna to do that by reoccupying, for example, all these Chinese provinces here. That should help our, help our score a bit. The Russians are here down in the south though, currently occupying, but... I think reoccupy, reoccupying stuff is, uh, it takes, it's quicker than actual occupying stuff, so we should be... In the long run of that, we should win. So, ooh, money, where did you go? Oh my god, my people are totally not having a good day. Yeah, we might have to fight a rebellion very soon. Because our people are very militant, or decently militant, but it's mainly that their life needs are so badly. Uh, ooh, okay, we got a battle here. Need to make sure that that is won. Yeah, look at those losses. What are you, what are you doing, Russia? Go home, you're drunk. Uh, okay, that down there. That should work out. This army, though, has no... He currently is serving no purpose. You can go to this one, I guess. Occupy it. Occupy all the provinces. Okay, now... Uh, let's... Yeah, fuck it. Let's just unite them and put them on the boats and take 50,000, something like that. Of these guys. Put them on the boat. And then we'll sail to Canada. Okay, now... Get our guys off the... Okay. 
not quite reached the location yet, but we, there is a chance actually that we might defeat the British in um, Ri, Rimuski, 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 whatever, however, however, however you pronounce that. Because we have um, occupation, a uh, battle. We have, um, we have, they have crossing and terrain penalties, and they don't seem to have gas stack, which we do. Budapest. Okay, Budapest, sure, 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 sure. Let's keep, let's keep pushing in. Make sure that they, their troops are dead. Fifty uh, percent, no. Defender occupied. We are what? We are no longer occupying as much territory anymore. Oh shit! The British have landed troops here. Okay, that's my, that might be the reason. And the Italians have troops here all, all of a sudden. So they're pushing back the, um, the Frenchies, and the Frenchies are too retarded to send support. So I guess we have to do it for them. Let's bring some guys over there. Should work out. How are we doing here? Yeah, 8,000 or 9,000 men are left. Uh, the morale of the British is quite low. Taking heavy losses, the British are at least. Yeah, we should actually be able to win this without actually... Yeah, we did. Huh. It wasn't that funny. They're going to Quebec City. Some of them are anyways. Oh, where are you going? Oh, you're going to me? Okay, sure, 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 sure. If you want to come to me, then I don't have anything uh, to complain about or... I'm not complaining. I very much invite you to join my slaughter. As long as you are the ones getting slaughtered, of course. I mean, that's um, nothing. I hope that doesn't surprise you, British people. Why is there so many troops here in uh, the Azores? I guess a bunch of troops, bunch of troops were able to mobilize from the Azores. We won this one. We kill the army, it seems, in the process. She's nice. Yes, let's start reoccupying Austria-Hungary. Austria-Hungary has been having a hard time since the beginning of, beginning of the game, I think. Ooh, where did you guys come from? Please die. Thank you. Ooh, that's a lot of losses. Holy shit. Russia, what are you doing? Seriously. They just get annihilated right there. Oh, come on, just win already. This is bullshit. Oh, well. Oh, well. Need to make sure that we focus on every possible front. Yeah, let's create a landing point here in a re... Rimus Rimuski? Rimuski? I don't know how you pronounce that. Let's make a landing point here. So we'll occupy this one before we start pushing further into Canada. How are we doing on our war goals? Three and... Yeah, we still have quite a bunch of time left. Acquire Savoy. Yeah, all of these goals are not going to be able to be achieved. That's just something we have to accept by now. But I am going to make sure that my goals are the ones that, being, uh, that are going to be achieved. Because I do what I want. And I'm the leader of this war, so no, no one has anything to say on that. Still not willing to accept. That's not good. Not good at all. You better accept, you little shit. Canada was always meant to be a colony of the glorious Portuguese Empire. And the quicker you guys realize that, the better. I'm sorry, but I'm I'm simply quoting facts here. Because we need to get rid of this annoying little Russian army here, causing havoc within our lands. Ooh, look at those losses! I mean, I think the, the Russians... Are they bankrupt or some bankrupt or something like that? Because they they are losing so many men. It's almost like they're not funding their military like they should be doing. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case, though. I don't think you can see that war exhaustion. I guess you could take a look at, but I don't think that that doesn't represent what I am actually looking for. So, eh, never mind. Yeah, Africa. How are you doing? Uh, you're you're working on it. Let's go ahead and push the British out of our colonies. They must learn their place. Canada, how are you doing? No, oh, we're working on it. Do we have some boats here though? That's nice. We need to make sure that we... Yeah, well, let's start taking this 50,000 man army over here. This is they're going painstaking, painstakingly slow, but that's such is life. Ooh, we are able to put all the troops on there. I don't know... Ah, oh, yeah, this is not the... Um, this is the army from China. Or not the army, the navy. I get it. Now let's take our armies and let's land them in Quebec City. Ooh, now that, my friend, is an army right there. He's he's going over there. So here's the thing I'm going to do. I'm not going to do anything about it until I know for a fact that they are going to engage my troops. Once I do that, I will start... Um, here we go. So now I will go ahead and bring in the supporting troops. I will bring in all of them. I will take this army will have a hard time uh, keeping out while we um, our supporting troops are getting there. Hopefully they can keep out until my supporting troops arrive though. If not, then this is a totally waste of manpower. 
Yep, there we go. Bam! What are you doing, British people? Go home. I guess you are kind of home. Depending. Because, I mean, um, Britain, or this, these are states of um, Britain, so I mean, technically they are just as much home as the other British Isles are, so. Eh, it's fair enough. Whatever. Doesn't matter that much, anyways. Okay, so, yeah, the situation over here seems to be stabilizing. That's good. We have some troops of our own over here, though, don't we? Yeah, look at that. Let's help out the Frenchie here. The Frenchies! We also need to continue the reoccupy. How do you say that? Reoccupation? No. Reoccupying of. The reoccupying of uh, Austria Hungary. Whatever. Doesn't matter that much. We really need to finish this war right now. Our economy cannot handle this for very long. We have to rush uh, Canada here. So I'm not gonna take this one for the simple reason that I'm not actually planning to occupy it. So. I need to make sure to occupy the provinces that I'm trying to get. Because those are the ones that um, will really help towards my war score. And, you know. Yeah, no. No leader. That's not good. We're gonna want a leader. Ooh, what do you get? where do you get these troops from? Magic. I never heard about that kind of magic. I'm sorry. Okay, let's take this fleet. Or the Chinese fleet, I guess. Send it to down. Ooh, we got some troops on the boat still. Okay, let's... Bring them over there and kill off that army. Because I guess we won't send, be sending that army back to um, Europe quite yet. We have 99,000 people standing here prepared to die for the Portuguese conquest of um, of Canada. Okay, China. Uh, where did my troops go? Here they are. The Russians have once again brought uh, troops over. We must annihilate them. Ooh, we lost? Okay, I guess... Oh, okay, that makes sense. No, we had barely any troops there. Yeah, okay, so the Russians seems to have started to refund their army, because this battle here is a lot more fair. Or, in the terms of losses, we're actually losing about the same amount of men as they do. We're actually losing more men than they are, but we're still going to win it, though. Hopefully. Yeah, we are. I guess we need, we need to crush them, though. I don't know, maybe they have taken some loans or something like that. I don't know the exact reason for that. The Battle of Johur Baru. That sounds like something in Asia. And it is. 1,000 guys. Ay, 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 ay. It's not good. It's not good at all. Or maybe it's over here. Uh, Rift Valley. Johan Baru. No. I don't know. Do we win? Yeah, we're winning this one. We should be fine. Uh, that's fucking annoying, man, to fight on so many fronts. And why are you here? You shouldn't be here. You should be in Canada. Did I? Oh, shit. You guys never... Oh, fucking hell. I sent the army that contained the... I sent the fleet that contained the army down to... I sent the army containing the fleet to uh, the Caribbean. That wasn't exactly the smartest move. Okay, let's keep pushing. Make sure that... Make sure the British understand that we are serious. Still are not willing to accept. Okay, so we will... Never mind these things. They are not important. They're, okay, so they're still not willing to accept these things. I guess we just have to continue the fight. Dismantle. Okay. Dismantle the fortifications. Sure. Uh, that's not gonna happen though, but still, it's it's a fair request. I fucking hate that about Victoria 2. The fact that you are limited in your the amount of, um, of war goals you can enact. That's so bullshit. Like, seriously, who would do that? Like, imagine you, you're France and you're like, you're the president of France or whatever, and the second you win the war, you're like, hmm. No, I think we're actually going to not uh, occupy that territory because uh, because it is too much. No, nobody has ever said that before. P the winner does what they want. Do what they want. Fresh, awesome English grammar right here. No, let's, go. let's try one more time and see peace with the kingdom. No, they're not willing. Come on, Britain. Just give up already, seriously. It's a very pointless war, and um, and that's even more reason that you should just stop fighting it, I guess. Because it's pointless. Pointless stuff is rarely good. Um, I guess it varies from person to person what they regard as pointless, but people dying is pointless, at least when you know what's going to happen. They, I guess the people of Britain are just... They, right now they're just dying for the honor of their nation, I guess. 
so that they can say after the war is over that they did not surrender until they absolutely have had to. Uh, because, um, you know, I mean, I think it's pretty clear at the moment who is going to win this war. So any any man who dies in the defense uh, of like the um, this alliance right here, it's, it's a pointless death. Pointless death indeed. Ooh, we have occupied the territory down here. We need, to make, we need to make sure that that continues. Ooh, we also get some troops over here that we need to cleanse out of our lands. China, how are you doing? Doing fine, doing fine it seems. I haven't annihilated this army quite yet though, but we're working on it. We're working on it. Okay. Let's keep killing, keep killing, keep slaughtering. And our money is about to go away. Not good at all. I don't know though how much money we can rack up in depth before we are have to be regard ourselves as bankrupt. I just don't know how that works. I just don't know. Ooh, what wait what? No! Stop, stop reoccupying my stuff. And stop attacking my guys as well. What the hell are you doing? Britain, go away. Oh, they're, they're starting to, you know, mass up some significant forces right here and right now. Interesting. Yeah, I guess we need to... Ooh, should we? Yeah, I think we have... Our troops are a little bit spread out at the moment. So let's go over here. Kill off this army so we can have a front. I think, thinking maybe I should go ahead and annihilate this the people hanging out over there because they're sort of behind me which is never a good idea having troops behind the f main front line of the of the battle or whatever okay now let's see Europe how are you doing got some troops here I'm prepared to sail to uh, sail to Canada sweet let's make sure that that happens then Ooh, look at that the Frenchies are helping us sweet spill this army and uh, make sure that we do our part in the reoccupation of um, of the Portuguese colonies. Now the war score is uh, overwhelmingly in our favor so Britain get your shit together and give up. Well, I guess Russia is the war leader so you might see if they are willing to end the entire war. If we just not... They would not accept. A war score... What is this worth? Peace of Revalio, 61 and we have a war score of 61 so in theory this is more than... or this is not more than enough but it's enough. It's very much enough, but I guess they still... I think some of the thing... What? I th no? <laughs> what, what did I just say? I think some of the thing? No. I think that um, one of the main reasons that the British or that they don't give up yet is that they still have significant armed forces that can do damage. So they, they still firmly believe that they can win this. But so did Hitler when he, the only territory he still controlled was Berlin, so... I was about to say they should learn from history, but the Second World War hasn't uh, happened yet, so... Eh. Eh. Never mind. Okay, so once again, Canada. How's the situation? The British are retreating to Fort Rupert. I guess we're gonna have to follow them. 70,000 men can do that. 60,000... Ah, okay, so they're going over there. Can we... Question is, will we reach that area before they do? Uh, Sept Isles. Sept Isles. 8th of January. Yeah, some of them will arrive before me, so no, we're not going to do that. So instead, we're just going to hang out here and occupy this territory. Sounds like a plan. Let's kill them. Oh, what? Where did they get all these troops from? Seriously. Like, ah, ah. Good thing we're getting reinforcements. I might actually have to... Oh no! My money! My money is no longer around. Shit, we have to start spamming... Um... We have to go full desperation right now then. No! F we're not going to any fund anything. Reduce the naval spending. I guess we're just going to have to live with this crap for a while. Not much... Not much we can do about it, is there? Uh, I guess you're fine currently. Yeah, let's help out those guys. Why not? Okay, let's kill off the British, wherever they are going. Oh, never mind. West Market... A crisis? There's a... There's a freaking world war going on right now, and that's what you care about? A crisis? Get your shit together. West Macedonia, or whatever that was happening. I'm guessing it's the Ottomans once again that has started bullshitting enough for the... people of Europe to um, declare a crisis out of it. Let's go attack here. 
Slammed our troops in Quebec. Failed, yeah, of course it failed to enlist in, you know, attention. There are far more interesting things going on. So he's going to this one. Can I... No, fuck that. Let's... Okay, where is, where is he going? He's going to... Uh, yeah, where is he going? Chin... Uh, a bunch of trios of reviews, a bunch of these French names. Yeah, let's go... let's go here, actually. Then once this army is finished fighting, whatever it's fighting... Come on. There we go. Yeah, that was a victory. See her present. See her present? What are you talking about? See her present. It's not see her present. It's... More more than zero percent. That's what I'm trying to say. I think right now we just kind of we we really just need to make sure that we finish off all these British troops. Once we do that, we can just quickly go ahead and occupy everything. Um, but it's going slow though. Far too slow. And we're taking a bunch of losses in the process, which is never a good idea. Okay, let's keep rolling out with our tanks and our stuff. Like so, let's go down. Yeah, let's just make a huge assault on this one. Bring in all the troops and just kill, 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 kill. Oh wow, we are losing a bunch of men in this one. There's actually a very big chance that we might lose this. Um, decent chance anyways. They're taking some serious losses. They have a great leader, it seems. Their morale is a lot lower. Okay, we need support here. Wow, they reoccupied their territory so fast, it's crazy. Okay, now... Mm, what we need to do, um, we might want to do some surrounding tactics. Come on, get over here. Okay, so here's the thing, we need to send... This army. And then we will send... Yeah, fuck it, let's just send everything. Let's do it the old-fashioned way, by just hunting them down. Oh shit, the... Um... Ooh, what the hell? Russians. They're back. I guess we need to once again <laughs> remove them. Fucking hell, man. Russians don't just don't give up. No, no, it's it's fine, actually. Look at this. Okay, now... Let's go... Oh, fuck, let's just help out in this fight. Overwhelm them with numbers. Make sure that they all die. I have a feeling this is going to be a long episode. So because there's so much war that we need to fight. How did they get there so fast? It's bullshit. Stop running and start dying! Please! Uh, yep. They're dying alright, but I would pretty much prefer they prefer it if they were to do it a little bit faster. Okay, let's send this... Uh, he's going to Kingston, so let's go to Kingston as well. And then we'll take our other forces and send them north to this one. Like there. Then we'll try and knock out this army right here, which is going to Quebec City, which is also... No, 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 here's the thing, here's the thing. We will send a rather not so terribly big uh, force, but a decent enough force anyways, uh, of troops. Come on, just select a random chunk of them. 30,000 men will go to Quebec City. Or not. Fuck, my plan failed. Oh well. Oh well. Let's go over here then. Let's try to lure the British into attacking us here. We're going into Ottawa. We could prevent them from doing that though. Now here, they're going into... Yep, there you go. Now they're coming into here. Once they do... Okay, they haven't arrived yet, but they're getting there. Come on. There we go, now, and then we will send 100,000 men in support, and that's going to give them all the penalties of defending. Uh, but we are still losing more men than they do, though. What the hell? It's bullshit. I guess we didn't get to dig down very much. Like, make trenches and crap. Oh man, look at Russia. It's getting, getting its ass kicked. Russia, you, you should be willing to accept peace very soon. No, you're not willing? Fuck you, Russia. Ah, uh, when will you just realize that this is pointless? Let's go to where's my navy, anyways? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to we need to bring more troops into Canada. That's for sure. Send a bunch of these guys over here, and let's 
take all our troops on the eastern front and we'll bring them to... We'll bring them over to Canada instead. We'll just relocate all our forces into Canada. Because that's where the most important battle of ours anyways is fight being fought right now. Hmm, our, okay, we won that one. Our morale wasn't exactly optimal, but it's, it's better than nothing, I guess. We're still losing so many men though, what the hell? But I guess it's worth it in the long run just to kill off these British people. Because this is the last major army of theirs in the nearby area anyways. Just gonna do hunt him down until the last man is dead. Okay, some of them haven't arrived yet. That's weird. So they won there. Is that the end of them? I think it is. I hope it is. Let's so let's start reoccupying then. Reoccupying. Yeah, that's the appropriate way to say it. Not really the appropriate, but oh, this is going slow. Now why is this? Oh, is our army terribly unbalanced? No, it's not. What are you talking about? It's not unbalanced at all. Why are we so slow? I guess we need to bring some fresh troops from uh, from Europe then to help salvage this situation. Salvage the situation. Yes, we have to do. Yep. Okay. Spring them. Spring them there. Uh, let's go like this. Put these people in the boat. Am I in the wrong region? Where's my... No, yes I am. Now then, there we go. We can still carry a bunch of people. So we will do just that. Carry a bunch of people. 200,000 men. What are you gonna do now, fucking Great Britain? You're gonna die? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, anyways, though, I think we're gonna end it right here. And then we'll continue this glorious Great War in the next episode. Um, so, thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness, the Portugal campaign. And until next time, bye.